Rugby Union was holding on to its amateur status when Martin Ofaya switched to league with Witness. When I saw the amount of the money that they were offering and also the opportunity to be a professional sportsman, that's something that really did appeal to me. Union turned professional just 16 years ago. In 2000, Jason Robinson joined its ranks with Sale. Boys in! Yes! Jason Robinson! I was in a bit of a comfort zone, no believe. And a little man known as Billy Wiz. Without sort of being big-headed, I, I knew he was going to get picked for, for Wigan, or, you know, for Great Britain. Vinnie Colo's charging in! He's over! Bradford's try machine, Leslie Vinicolo, joined Union's Gloucester in 2007. League brought me where I am, and... Um, and I will never forget that. Union legend Gareth Thomas is now flying the flag for Welsh Rugby League with Crusaders. It's a chance that um, I didn't want to let slip by because I didn't want to look back and think, what if? It wasn't an easy decision to make moving codes, and it never should be for players. It's something that should be considered. But once you've made a decision, you know if it's something you want to do and if you are um and ahhing about a decision like that too much, then chances are it's probably not the right decision to make. I've won you know, the Welsh League titles, French League titles, uh, European Cup, uh, Grand Slams with my country, uh, captain my country and also was honoured enough to be chosen for the British Lions. I achieved my goal in, in Australia and, and in England as well and now, it's, now I'm looking forward for a new challenge and that's why I came to Gloucester. And I just love to challenge myself and, you know, to balance those two sports and, you know, it's doing it really well. I, I won everything, you know, Challenge Cup, Premiership, you know, World Club Challenge, Regal Trophy, Lancashire Cup, John Player Special, you know. i done everything I ever dreamt of doing in Rugby Union um, and I could have either carried on just getting up every day and carrying on with the same routine that I had for 15, 16 years or challenge myself at the end of my career and, and challenge myself to something that, you know, when I finished my career, I would have always wanted to have looked back and said I'd love to have tried to have played rugby league. You know, you get people saying who's gone for the money and, and actually, you know, my time's at Wigan. I was paid far more at Wigan than, I, than I've been anywhere else. So, uh, so that certainly wasn't the case. As well as everyone likes to earn, a, earn money doing something they love, it's just the fact that you get up in the morning it's a lifestyle and you're able to go and try and be the best rugby player that you can be every day. <laughs> I think if the truth be known, I think the money in Union um, is a lot better. Um, and I think that maybe the profile of the players in Union is a lot higher as well. It's great playing against St Helens and, and the local rivalry and, you know, some of the most memorable, game, memorable games I've ever played. But when you do it, you know, sort of nine seasons, ten seasons, you know, sometimes it's nice to, to have a bit of a change and, 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 and get out of your comfort zone and, and that's what Rugby Union offered me. I've got no regrets. People say, you know, don't you wish you uh, could have played for England at, at, uh, at the International, get a full Union cap, but, you know, I was a product of my time. If uh, both codes were professional, then I probably would have made a different decision. You know, I always get asked, oh, which is the best? Was it Rugby League, Rugby Union? And, and you know something, they're just completely different. You know, when you play Rugby Union, you get a lot of breaks, you get a lot of uh, time as a back to rest it in racks, line-outs, scrums, when they're being formed, reformed. Now, Gareth Thomas has sighed through there, a sensational break. So in this, is, as I say, it's a constant 80 minutes. It's a, it's a different fitness level. It's a different physicality completely to what Rugby Union is. Rugby League is fantastic. You know, it's a fantastic game. It's a simple game to, to, to watch you know, to, to understand, to play, it's fast, you know, it's, it's all action, it, it's brilliant. There's 13 players involved constantly um, in attack and defence, you can never really switch off. I think if you're the person that switch off, switches off, then you're the person that lets the team down. When I moved into to, to Rugby Union, it surprised me just how much um, the players and, and management um, knew about Rugby League. Rugby Football League is a game that is definitely um, respected by other codes of rugby, by other sports. Guys like Johnny Wilkinson, you know, love rugby league and, and Martin Johnson, you know, they, 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 they love watching Super League on TV because they're in hotels every weekend and, you know, they love it. It's a challenge that, you know, I, I've, I've, I've enjoyed, I've tried to embrace, I've embraced the whole culture of it 
um, and it's a challenge that's extremely tough and extremely different to what I was born to, to, to be used to be playing really. I felt as well that I was you know, carrying a rugby league banner because a lot of people wanted to see me fail I'm sure just because I was from rugby league but actually you know because of my rugby league background that gave me a, a great um, foundation to go into rugby union and that's what made the difference. This is Cunningham, he's got that's Eastman with him, that's a great slip pass to Eastman. Things you know become in vogue and then, then move out of favour and at the moment now Signing rugby league players for rugby union clubs is uh, high on the agenda. And Eastman is taking on Ben Jones Bishop. He's skinned him for pace. That's sensational try from Kyle Eastman. I admire people who, who who take the switch from either way, because I think that is stepping outside of your comfort zone. If you're born to, uh, and raised playing league, and you turn to union, and then challenging yourself. And yeah, you know, financially, it's a short career. So people, if they get a chance to do it then you know, I tap him on the back and wish him all the best of luck to do it. Kyle's getting a lot of stick from rugby league circles for his decision, but at the end of the day, he's made a decision that he's happy with. You know, he's not breaking his contract, he's not in any way um, doing anything wrong, but obviously he's getting a lot of resentment from St Helens supporters, understandably. I'm sure over the, the next few months his skin will grow thicker and thicker because he'll be getting quite a bit of abuse. The pressure that he's under now at St Helens, he's going to be under even more scrutiny when it comes to go into rugby union and if he's prepared for that, which I hope he is, then he's got a chance of making a success of it. And I, but I always say, never bet against a great player because once they've got that talent in their, in their kit bag, you know, they're always capable of showing anyone up. Here is Eastman. Oh, this could be a collector's item. This is a collector's item, Kyle Eastman. When people give you a bit of abuse for moving on, it's really because they actually like you <laughs> and they don't want you to move on. If you do nothing for them, then they'd be happily just, you know, just, just go, we don't need you. But, uh, you know, Carl is he's a very talented player. There's no doubt about it. Ultimately, he's committed to himself and probably his family. So, you know, if it's a, if it's a better move for him, his family and financially securely sets him up um, for, a better, for a better future, then I think we should all say to, you know, Kelly Smung, you know, well done for everything you've done in this game and good luck in, in, in your attempts at Union. I came from Rugby Union, Jonathan Davis came from Rugby Union, Billy Boston came from Rugby Union, there's a number of rugby league greats now who came from the, the Union code and we are in different times now, as I said, that, that you are a product of your time. At the moment, I see it as just a trickle. You know, there's not going to be floods of, of players going from one to another. I don't think they'll be worried too much. You know, you see it like, well, it's only three or four. I think what it does do is, is, is shows, you know, the the sporting world, you know, just what talent's in, in rugby league. They're doing league a great job by, you know, saying that they come from league and, and try out new sports and they're, they're going greater. Uh, they become a great players. The grass is always green on the other side as well. So, you know, whatever you do in Super League, there's always going to be something that will pull from, from another side. Players shouldn't, for me, ever get near to the end of the contract. If they're a good player, if they're a young player, they should never, you know, have less than 18 months on the contract. Surely we say, look, you know, again, somebody like a, a Tompkins, you know, <laughs> there you go, there's a five year deal, you know and then it runs a couple of years, like, let's do it again, because these are the future. There's even talk now that Pat Richards has been um, circled by sale. Then, you know, you have to change the situations. You know, Rugby League Union changed its circumstances and changed its game from amateur to professional. It took them like 100 years to get there, but, you know, they got there in the end. You know, the salaries should, should be going up a bit, you know, in Rugby League, because they'll, they'll lose a lot of... Um, you know, great players. There is probably things that may, may be or may, may shouldn't be done um, to keep the player to keep the players here. But you know, ultimately, like I said, if if um, if a club comes in with a with a more secure an offer for a player, then you know, I think the outside public and many people should know that you know it's it's, it's important that so it's only a short career and it's important that that player does what's right. If it means increasing the salary cap, um, if it means trying to re renegotiate stronger deals. You know, to get more revenue in the game, I don't know. I don't have the answers, and that's probably why not. I'm not running the rugby football league. But whatever the situation, I think there is a need to make our game a lot more aspirational. If you're from rugby league, you shouldn't get offended if people are, you know, are looking at your sport and seeing if they can learn something. You should, you should look at it the other way. I mean, 
you know, it's a great product. You know, you should be flattered that other people are looking at rugby league and things that are done in rugby league, and uh, and learning from them and, and vice versa. You know, watching a few of the games, uh, you know, everything's changed. You know, coming kind of tackling and you know, contact, and the games seems going a bit quicker as well, going quicker and just um, you know. I'll never, I'll, I'll, me personally, I'll never forget league. You know, that's league brought me where I am, and um, and I will never forget that. Um, I'm still watching league. I'm still keeping in touch with my boys in rugby league. So uh, it's pretty much league um, running through my veins. So um, I'll never, I'll, I'll never forget them.